How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Sutton. Welcome back to another episode of the Netherlands Dutch Colonial Conquest Campaign. Look at North Africa. What a mess. Freaking Portugal ate all of Morocco, pretty much. Clemson ate a bit, though, and they moved into Tunis. And then Fazan. Fazan, of all people, has eaten a little bit of a northern Sahara, that region. Um, We're starting to be able to see more of the world. Oh, wow. Okay, like, we can see the whole world now, apparently. I must, like... For some reason, eventually, you just, like, you, it reveals everything. So that's interesting. Um, so there was a ming explosion. it looks like. Full ming explosion. Korea and Japan, both fairly strong, as is expected. Ayutthaya is actually doing all right. Bengal, Bamanis, Malwa, Delhi, Gujarat. Normally, this happens. You have, like, four or five people out of the hundred or so. It's, it's less than that. But, like, you know, there's a couple dozen people that are, exist at the start of the game, but then they kind of consolidate, and that looks to be the case. Um, which will be interesting for us. Pasai, Malacca, Brunei. But yeah, um, a lot of stuff going on. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. Mamluks still live. <laughs> Barely. Ottomans are strong. Who would have guessed? I'm going to be... I'm glad that we're on the other side of Europe from them. <laughs> Ottomans can go fight Commonwealth and Muscovy all they want in the late game. But Persia exists. Okay. Yeah, we'll uh, see. We're definitely going to... You know, part of having a large colonial empire means taking over parts of India and uh, Southeast Asia and Indonesia. So we're going to see if we can do that. Um, but for now, we have more pressing concerns. We're worrying about the Americas and more specifically the British. We're going to take some of their colonies for sure. But for now, what are we doing? Uh, well, we're going to help France deal with these uh, naughty Spaniards up here apparently. Because they're having some issues. France is not doing so great. But, uh, whatever. Let's go ahead and... Uh, well, I don't know. Is there anyone else that we could peace out at this point in time? Spain actually has medium enthusiasm now. Okay, they're getting to the point where they, they kind of want to get out of this war. So that's good. I think we should maybe, maybe not go smash them, but like come down here and siege this back. Well, how much manpower do we have? We have enough that I'm thinking it might be a good idea to go to Laborde. Sit next to Laborde and then wait for France to take the move maybe, but then immediately go and reinforce and just absolutely wreck this army down here. That could be good. Hmm, that's not good. All right, we will uh, change the plans. Let's go ahead and use some military points to get up here real quick. Because we need to go help this battle. We need to win this battle. We need to push the Spaniards out of France. And help our help our buddies here. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, get in there. There we go. We made it in. I don't know if we're going to win. It might be a little too late, actually. But, no, we won. They actually just uh, pulled out. So, that's good. And now we will continue this siege. We have this siege going on up here. I'm not too worried about most of what's going on in this war right now, honestly. France is actually sieging down the Commonwealth, even. That's good. Um, that's actually that's quite good. Okay. I mean, we're gonna we have all of the, you know, the British Isles sieged down besides Ireland. So that's good. Uh, and I guess we don't have uh, Orkney. But whatever. Who cares about Orkney? That's rude. If you're from Orkney, I apologize. <laughs> it was like a, you know, one in a million chance that there's someone watching from Orkney. But, you know, whatever. Um, Cahors. So they're going to try to come up to me, I think. No, they can't. Because there is a fourth in Cahors. Although sometimes they cheat. So there's no way to know. Because that's what the game is like. Yeah, woo! Ah, just messing. Alright, if, if France can win that war in the Commonwealth, we should hopefully be able to piece out the Commonwealth. Württemberg is the new... Oh! The Evangelical Union is victorious, that's why. Okay, Protestant is now the official faith of the Empire. Cool. I mean, that affects us, I believe, because the trigger modifier, we get the uh, Protestant Empire. Missionary strength, which is good. That's good for us. We like that. We like missionary strength. So that's quite good. Yeah, we're going to have uh, extra missionary strength be for doing nothing. So that's good. Okay. I tell you what. New plan. Wait till these guys get to Ayrshire. I believe that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not Scottish, so I do not know. 
Uh, Protestant Empire, there it is. Nice. It's an awesome modifier, and it's never going to go away. Commonwealth is probably going to be able to peace out. Uh, or going to be peace outable. Alright, now that you're there, you come over here. We're going to deal with some navies. These navies have been, you know, wandering around too long, causing problems for me. We're going to go deal with the Florentine, Florentine army. Florentian is not the right word. I think it's Florentine, so... Florentine army, prepare to meet your maker. Um, yes, France got that siege in the Commonwealth. Okay, they still won't actually peace out, but we should be able to in a month or two, hopefully. We'll see. Tell you what, I actually think they might come and engage us, and I don't want to deal with them. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just, uh, let's be careful here. Yeah, they are going to come over here. 27th of November. Yeah, now you can't. Son? Yeah, take that. I'm surprised they actually were able, or they were going to try, but I, I guess I can see why. They're getting desperate, you know? Uh, we won that battle. Cool. We smashed, uh, stack wiped him, actually. Completely destroyed him. Um... Florence has low enthusiasm because probably because we just stack wiped them, huh? Get out. Florence is gone. Good. We lost the siege of Smolensk. We had the we had Smolensk. What? I I don't understand. How did we? Why did we have Sm Smolensk? But it's like in Russia or Belarus. <laughs> Where is it? Russia or Belarus? That's really, that's a little bit weird, but whatever. Okay, cool, I'll take it. Uh, cool, yay, woo. Uh, well, not woo, we lost it, but cool that they were going there, I guess. All right, Spain, will you peace out? No. We should figure out a deal and get out of this war. It's, it's taken a bit long. I want to take the stuff that we have claims on. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to take this much, unfortunately, but... We have... What is the negative war score coming from? Like, why are we actually so low? It's the occupations in France. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, well... Once that siege finishes, hopefully... There you go, they got that done. You beat up them over there. Commonwealth, can we get you out of this war? I think that's what we need right now, is to get some of these people out of this war. They're diluting our war score, you know? Lyonnais is hills. Can we go over here and uh, get France to smash their army up, you know? Portugal, what about you? I think... <laughs> as hilarious as it is, I think we might be able to... We could totally get France out of this war. <laughs> this is hilarious. We could, we're going to get Spain out of this war by piecing out Spain by giving them back some land, which is hilarious. Spain's out of the war. Good. That's hilarious, dude. Oh my god, it's so funny. You're just like, hey! France, here's the... Sorry, but you're giving up your land. I know you didn't want to, but too bad. Uh, let's come over here. If we can, we should help out, although we might not even need to. Okay, so, cool. Things are going well. They're gonna retreat to, uh... A place where they're not safe, so I'm going to go and stack wipe them. Oh, that's brutal, man. They're going to be stack wiped. If not, I'll just chase them down again. There we go. Stack wiped, son. This was definitely the right decision. We can, uh... We can go occupy Lisbon. And if we can occupy Lisbon... We're going to take some colonial land from them, too. You know, we, we have a lot of uh, a lot of options here for our peace deal. 
Commonwealth is still in this war. Which is just silly. Why are you in this war, Commonwealth? Let France keep destroying them and we'll be good. The only risk is someone else could join on their side now. Muscovy, Ottomans, do any of those strike me as being particularly wanting to? Even if they do, we're just going to peace out, so no super big deal. I'm not too worried. Okay. Another naval battle going on there. France is going to lose it. But whatever. You know, it's funny, actually. It's good for me that I freaking gave away France's land because it it weakens France, and I don't want fr I want France to be weakened because eventually we're going to backstab them. You know, that's the funny part. Alright. Alright, what, what is this? Livonian order? Whatever. And if we can peace out the Commonwealth, we should, because there's no... You know, it'll mean the same thing that a, another great power can join, but they could already join, so if they're not joining now, then that wouldn't make a difference. You see what I mean? The leap from 0 to 1 is a lot more important than the leap from 1 to 0. One, wait, 2 to 1. Wait, what? 1 to 2. That's what I meant. You know what I mean. It's not going to make it any more likely that a great power is going to join if they're not joining now, so... Commonwealth, get out of this war. Thank you. Give me your money. Get a freak out of this war. There we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. We will destroy you. Okay. Let's get the uh, dude with the siege. Siege pip, why not? I mean, they're not going to be able to attack me, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Il Bourbon. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and do Mahe. Let's just keep doing these islands. Knock them out. We're going to go ahead and uh, keep sieging down these guys as well. Let's go ahead and like maybe delete these mercs. That's probably fine. I think we, we're good now. Save some money. Not that we need money, really. Oh my god, it's almost time for global trade, too. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a good war. We it took a long time. This is a well five years. That's not. It's about average actually. I think it's just because I'm on speed three when I'm used to speed four at this point. But uh, in fact, we should go to speed four. But it's um no, this has been a, a great war. I'm, I'm super glad we did this in the end. Turned out to be a great choice. It just was. It was a tough war. You know, I'm not gonna lie. It was tough. But uh, what do you expect? What do you expect? Um, we want to take some Portuguese land over here. Um, among other stuff, but, yeah. And we will do so. We have some forts occupied there, I believe, so we should be good in that regard, too. The Siege of Lisboa has been completed. So let's go ahead and, uh, peace Portugal out. I think that's good. We should humiliate them, if at all possible. Aren't we rival to them? Or are they they rival to us? That's why. Concede colonial Caribbean. Oh, because they have like one province there, huh? Okay. Well, let's look at war score. Sort by war score, because I like the uh, cheapest provinces you have <laughs> um, that are on the coast, at least. So that one. That one's not on the coast. So no. No, that one's not on the coast. Not that one. Magdalena is, I know. Wait, isn't it? Yeah, Magdalena. Janos, no. Maraquita, no. Esequibo, yeah. And Paramaibo. Paramaribo. Um, there we go. That's five provinces. Basically, we're getting five provinces so that we can go ahead and uh, get a colonial nation here as soon as possible. I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, take this as well, the Orinoco Delta, because it's a good province. 
I'd rather get it now than later, honestly. Beyond that, annul your treaties with Spain. Annul your treaties with Milan. We can't do that. Alright, well, that's fine. Annul the treaties with Spain. That'll be good for now. And get out of my war. Portuguese scum. And now we have 99% war score. Holy cow. That's good. That's real good. And then let's go ahead and uh, let's just wait a second. So we have zero over extension because that's not um, none of that land is in our own part of the world, huh? All right. And what are we gonna do? Is it tech time? Is it near tech time? No, it's a ways away. So I don't care if we spend all of the admin points we have. I just want everything. So sort by diplomatic power. I want all this. <laughs> Maybe we don't take all that, huh? Great Britain, Austria, Scotland, Brittany. That's not too bad, but let's not do this. Let's not take everything. I mostly care about the coastal land and the better land. Um, I'd like to humiliate. We can. Okay. Good. Um, beyond that, I'll be humiliated. We'll gain a lot of power projection. Yeah. Great Britain and Austria alone. That's fine. Uh, and I'd like to annul their treaty with Austria, if at all possible. Hold on, Essex and... Okay, what if we do this? Swap that out for that. Why would that cost more? Because we don't have a claim on it. That makes sense. Wait, we do. Why? Why would that cost more? Oh, it's not the the Essex is the war goal. All right, what if we do this? Do that. Make them weaker in the future. Why don't we? So we won't be taking their capital yet, but we'll be taking some other good land. We'll get freaking tons of power projection. A little bit less aggressive expansion, even. I think this is good. I think this is actually better. So, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll do humiliate. We're gonna. Force them to end their alliance with Austria and Portugal. We're going to take three provinces, and that's it. I think that's good. Let's do it. Get wrecked, son. So, now we go ahead and spend a ton of freaking admin points. <laughs> uh, what? As far as cost goes, we don't need to do this one. Because uh, that's, we only need five, and then it'll become a colonial nation, and then we'll be good. All right, cool. So let's just not worry about that one. Nice. That's good, actually. So I'm, uh, I'm glad we did that war. It was definitely worth it in the end. Would not have been worth it if we lost, but that's a what if that we're not going to think about. Cool. States demand control. We should actually give them some land. Apparently my timer just got off. That's good. We need to... We need to wrap up in a second anyways, but that's good. Uh, good war. Good war. I'm glad we did it. Worked out well in the end. It looked a little iffy at some points in time, but the League War helped us out indirectly for sure, so that's good. And beyond that, let's just go ahead and hang in here for a bit. Recover. Okay. English is a uh, promoted culture, so we shouldn't have too much trouble incorporating this stuff. Okay, let's take you. Half of you protect trade in the English Channel. Half of you protect trade in Lubeck. How about that? I think that'll be good for money, actually. Uh, you can circumnavigate the globe with three galleons, right? It's a little bit risky because, like, obviously they're worth more to us. Go explore some uh, some ocean tiles, then. Should be safe with that. Okay. Okay, they're coming home. Manpower is actually doing just fine, too, so that's good. Uh, New Netherlands. I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll send some aid. Let's go ahead and, to, and do this. We want to try to get this done with. Cool. This war went well. And uh, I think we, we managed our army as well. We didn't use the... We didn't lose manpower when we didn't need to. I think that was uh, that it was good for the most part. We're going to go ahead and recruit some more armies even. Uh, some more cav. Add two to each stack, and that should bring it up to 30, which is a good number. Um, what is our force limit at, actually? It's getting quite high. We need another stack soon. 
We also did lose those claims. All right, tell you what, we'll end this video once we get to see if we get global trade or not, which we should, right? Yeah, Holland is not an island. Yes, the year is at least 1600. I believe we should get uh, traded. I don't know where it's going to fire, but probably in either like Antwerpen or Holland or London or something like that. Or uh, yeah, I think that's probably where it's going to uh, fire. So let's go to wait, and then that will be the end of this uh, this episode. And I think this recording session. I'm getting a little tired. This, uh, this war, that was that was a good war, though. Good war, good couple episodes. I've had a, a lot of fun the past couple episodes. Not that the whole series hasn't been fun. It has been. Oh, we have a transport fleet. All right. Uh, global trade. We did get it because, like, we had to. Goods have been moved across continents. Yada, 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 yada. Oh, yeah. Cool. So we get a um, 100 of each PowerPoint type, which is awesome. So actually, you know what? I just realized that means that it was totally worth it to... Uh, to go ahead and move our our um to move our thing there our uh <laughs> I I'm having trouble formulating words. This is why I need to take a break after this. Uh, this is why it was worth it to move our capital to Holland because we get 100 of each you know each power type. We spent 200, a little over 200, but we got 300 back and it was spread out. So that's good, cool. I forgot about that. Um, also, for the rest of the game, Holland gets trade power, which is good, uh, and we get 20 prestige. Sweet. So, it fired in Holland, I am assuming. Yeah, it is in Holland. Cool. Birthplace of global trade. It's actually, it's interesting, because, you know, if you didn't know, the Netherlands was, like, the first country to have, like, a stock exchange and a lot of other modern financial things that we associate with the, the Western world and Europe. Um, so it's kind of, uh, it's kind of fitting that we would get it. So that's cool. Hopefully we'll get manufacturers as well. But let's uh, let's look at this. Yeah, that's going to be... Wow. We're going to get a lot of spread. It's going to be spreading quite quickly. 1.26, 1.78, 0.64. Point, only 0 0.06 there. But still, it's going to be spreading everywhere pretty quick. Oh my god, London. Nice. Cool. I'm excited to see how that works out. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. Uh, come back next episode and we'll continue onwards. We're probably going to do some colonial expansions, some wars in colonial regions. You know what? I just realized I should have... I meant to take some uh, Mexican land, but that's okay. Whatever. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.